Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, everyone. Firstly, I would like to say thank you to the VOB for giving me a great opportunity to be here, to share and learn from all of you. I wish you a successful and fruitful online learning week. So firstly, let me introduce a little bit of myself. My name is Ha Anh Phuc. Currently, I am a teacher of English language from Vietnam, and I am recognized as a Microsoft Innovative Expert. My expertise are language learning, and uh, ICT in education and uh, I am a young teacher who is an ethnic minority living in mountainous area support as a mental level person so far I can speak four languages Vietnamese Chinese English and my ethnic minority group language and now um, I would like to tell you about my story um, as a multilingual person, hopefully you may get something new from my story as I used to be a multilingual kid. Well, I come from Vietnam where approximately 96 million people consisting of about uh, 54 ethnic minority groups and uh, about 100 languages. The king accounts for 87% of the population, um, with the rest making up around uh, 11 million people. Uh, Vietnamese, the language of king group, has been the common language among Vietnamese in the country and is the official language in the country. Um, and I do not belong to the king people, I belong to Mua group. So, according to the Vietnamese, uh, Constitution in 1946 and 1992, all minority groups have the right to maintain their mother tongues in their schools as well to use their languages to preserve their ethnic, culture and values. Well, I was born in, in a very poor village in Phu Tho province, which is located in the north of Vietnam. So most of the people in my hometown are ethnic minority, mainly coming from three minority groups in Vietnam, Mường, Mông, Giao, and I belong to Mường. And the main industry is agriculture. So most of the kids from my hometown can speak at least two languages, but many of them can speak three languages. If their mom and their dad do not belong to a same ethnic minority group. Yeah, so the first days of my school was a hard time for me and my friends. As all the subjects are taught in Vietnamese, I was a bit stressed because I have never before experienced like that. I was most grand crazy when I tried very hard to catch up with the teacher was teaching and uh, my teachers were really patient to us while many of my friends could not speak Vietnamese well enough to study yeah and I tried to ask her sometimes in my language luckily my teacher could explain to me in my language and encourage me to use Vietnamese more in the lesson and lessons to use our ethnic minority in break time or sometimes we have a question that's quite difficult, uh, can use our language easily to understand. So I feel better. And actually, I had an amazing teacher who was not ethnic minority, but she tried to learn our language to help us overcome of the language barriers that we were facing up to. Yeah, she helped me to recognize the importance of education and the benefits of multilingualism. And I really want to become a teacher of English language. And I have made the shortlist of Global Teacher Prize, uh, the top finalist, uh, the top 50 finalist. And I believe she is my inspirational teacher. And uh, from my story, I recognize that we were well respected our culture and language identity without any force. The fact is that we cannot change the language policy of the country, but we can change ourselves to adapt it. 
So teacher is the key factor to promote students to develop multi-language and should create favorable for them to develop all the languages, including the ethnic minority language. And let's take a look at the survey conducted on the scale of 120 high students and 120 primary students by me and my friends on student language preference at school. And it's clear to see that there's a clear difference between Vietnam primary and high school students in the viewpoint of language preference at school. And most of the students feel very comfortable when their mother language are used at school. Um, I mean the ethnic minority language at the age of six years old, but most of the high school students choose the official language, the Vietnamese language, when they enter high school. However, they share the same point that they, they, oh, they refuse the comfort of foreign language. That makes me think about the reasons of poor learning condition of English in our area. Now let's move to the some challenges that I'm facing when I teach English for multilingual students. Basically, I fight six challenges. Firstly, uh, teachers viewpoint of multilingual language and class policy. That means not all the teachers understand the importance of promoting multilingual language at school. May this really may limit uh, the learning environment of students. Secondly, learning condition like uh, school infrastructure, textbook, technology. Well, we cannot deny the importance of ICT in learning any language. Mm, as a teacher of English language, I can recognize that some of my students uh, find it hard to assess uh, such as the modern facilities uh, to study language um, in an online way as their house is located in mountainous area where the internet is not available. Yeah, so thirdly, the parent support. That's true because many parents only speak ethnic minority language at home, not Vietnamese though they can speak it. They, this really make ethnic minority language a white Vietnamese language. So the one of the requirement in our country is that the teachers working in mountainous area should have at least one ethnic certificate. So, but some haven't got it. I believe learning a new language means learning a new culture. So if teachers are able to understand the culture of students, they would easily simplify their circumstances. Um, and finally, as about the low motivation to learn a new language, I mean the foreign language in this uh, context. Is it true that because of some students and parents limited awareness and of the importance of foreign language? So what is the school's solution? Actually, we foster the collaboration between teachers and parents that we should create a fair environment and balance for students to develop their own ethnic minority language and Vietnamese at the same time. And um, secondly, as I told before, ethnic minority um, certificate as a kind of language certificate is a requirement for teacher of our area, so we encourage all the teachers to um, get as soon as possible. And um, raising student awareness and motivation to learn mental language is very important, you know. Uh, there are two types of motivation like intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation. We should focus on intrinsic motivation to encourage them to study uh, which can lead to the effectiveness, effectiveness of student um, language learning and uh, you know focus on the intrinsic motivation to learn that is better than extrinsic motivation. And actually it is previously uh, researched uh, by a lot of researchers 
and from that point I try to apply the different the new methods uh, to teach my students so that they will see the beauty of the language yeah so uh, this can be easily understand uh, this can be easily understood by the uh, photo here you can see the two boys playing sport and with the two different reasons yeah and um, Mm, the important point is that respecting students' ethnic minority group language and their culture as their value as well. That is very important. We respect them and encourage them to uh, speak their voice in uh, the right um, context and uh, we should create a better learning environment. And actually, I did a lot of uh, teaching model and which encouraged them to uh, expand the beauty of the culture to global friends like global connection lessons. I use Skype and I connect my classroom to the other classroom in the foreign countries and my students talk about uh, their, they use English to talk about the beauty of their culture and they can sing the song of their ethnic minorities so my friends uh, and so my students uh, feel very great and they recognize that their culture their value should be preserved and uh, they are very proud of their culture and it's very important um, to uh, let students to have the good environment to talk to raise their voice so we respect them and uh, um, beside that, um, we have the club of the ethnic minority. Uh, it's a very important when they can gather their friends uh, in the same ethnic minority group or several ethnic minority groups and they can exchange information and they can have some kind of um, activities like dancing, art, drawing a lot of things like this and they will feel that uh, um, their um, language, the value, the ethnic minority are very great. So uh, that is um, the end of my presentation today. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to ask me.